it is much to my own shame that I actually don't think I had ever seen Boy Meets World. Now, that seems unusual to me. I'm sure I probably did at some point. I was the target audience by the time it reached the UK, or at least when it was still airing in kind of the mid-late 90s. I was born in 1992. The, share, the show first aired in 1993, and it definitely seemed like my kind of show now that I've watched it. So I probably saw bits of it. But I decided that since I had no recollection of it, I'd sit down and watch the first episode, it's on Disney+, Plus, and decide whether or not I want to continue watching it. And to be honest, I thought, mm, this seems like a, a kind of pre-teen show, something that would have been along the lines of maybe Clarissa, um, which is a good show. I didn't know if I'd like it. I genuinely thought this was hilarious, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it, and I definitely want to keep watching it. So this was released, as I said, in 1993. The first episode, creatively titled Pilot, is directed by John Tracy, written by Michael Jacobs and April Kelly. And Corey Matthews, the boy who meets the world, is played by Ben Savage. Um, we do have a great supporting cast, none of whom I believe I've seen in anything else, or at least nothing prominently. So Everything for me is, you know, really fresh and really exciting and the setup itself is nothing overly unique. Corey is a middle child. He has an older brother and a younger sister. He is 11 years old, I think. Um, and as far as I can tell, the show is just about him getting to grips with the world, starting to grow up, finding out things about the world around him. This first episode is technically all about love, but it's not as mushy and weird as you think. So I'll touch upon what it touches upon, but I'm not going to give any spoilers. But as I said, the narrative itself isn't anything overly unique, although the reference to Full House. If I'd watched this when I was growing up, I wouldn't have got the reference to Full House, but I'm a big Full House fan now. That amused me. A lot of it is spent either in his home or at his school. And the plot basically revolves around him trying to listen to a Phillies game um, through a, a radio headset. He gets caught uh, by his teacher, um, Mr. Feeney, who I think is going to become a prominent character. I could be wrong, but it seems like Feeney is both an antagonist in Corey's life and also a bit of a protagonist. Um, he's played by William Daniels and the character is kind of grumpy. You get the impression that he doesn't like kids. Why is he a teacher? He also lives next door to Corey. He is his next door neighbour and his teacher. But I also feel like he's one of those individuals who genuinely cares, genuinely wants the best for Corey. And I think he might become a kind of a mentor. That's just my initial impressions of what I think may happen with this character. I mean, feel free to correct me if you want. I don't really care about that kind of spoilers, but I'd rather the show as a whole wasn't spoiled. But I really kind of like that dynamic between young Corey and his teacher, who is a very complicated individual. One of my favourite scenes is when Corey is trying to get out of detention, like physically get out of detention. I just thought it was so brilliant, and Feeney's kind of deadpan, nonplussed, vacant existence really entertained me. So that's, that's kind of the first part, establishing Corey's relationship with his teacher, which I hope and assume continues. The other part is how his older brother Eric is starting to have shifts in his priorities. He was supposed to be taking Corey to a Phillies game. I should point out that when I say a Phillies game, I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Um, but he was supposed to be taking his brother to the game. He decides to take a girl instead. And Corey suddenly has to learn about the fact that when he grows up, his priorities may shift and he may actually start to really like girls. And there's this really lovely moment in this where his mother I'm trying not to spoil too much but where his mother basically recounts an anecdote of when Corey was growing up he suddenly decided that he no longer wanted to play baseball or was it basketball to throw a ball around outside with his father because he was getting a little bit older he was getting some school friends he'd rather play with his friends than spend time with his father and that again is a shift in priorities that like, maybe made his father upset but it's the natural order. It's what happens as you grow up. So there are lessons about love in that regard um, with his older brother, but also about shifts in dynamic, what you can expect as you're aging, 
if the target audience are going through sim similar things, I think it might also help them to understand what their older siblings are going through or indeed what they can maybe expect to happen as their own individual selves grow up and you know hormones change and things. The younger sister um, I thought was absolutely adorable and we don't get to see too much of her at this point. She's in it but there was no real kind of story around her um, other than Corey having a newfound appreciation for her um, because it also talks about not just love as in boy and girl or well it is boy and girl in, in you know 1993 of course they wouldn't have taken so much um, so much of a risk with a show aimed at teens or preteens um, but you know individual love romantic love but also about the love of a family unit and the strength that that love can have and it, it seems like a really heavy topic for a pilot but it works and it's very funny. It's very educational. It's very eye-opening. The characters are brilliant. I, Feeney is absolutely brilliant. I cannot wait to see what else to do with that character. But I guess the main reason it works is because our boy, Corey, is brilliant. He has a great attitude. He is cheeky, but he is likeable. I haven't quite worked out where he sits academically, by which I mean I don't think he is, you know, a brain box but I don't think he's somebody who needs loads of extra help. I think he's kind of being represented as the the middle-aged child, the middle child academically. I'm not 100% sure about this, but that's kind of the, the impression I get. The relatable boy who is very likeable. It's very funny, very well shot, very well um, written characters. The character writing is brilliant. The narrative works really well, even though on paper such a heavy topic for a pilot shouldn't work, but it does. Boy Meets World, kind of glad that I hadn't seen it or have no memory of having seen it because honestly, it's pretty fantastic. 